back to another ETS video interview. My name is Christine Richards, and I'm the research director here at Z Prime. And we're excited to have with us Ed Edwin Poot, who is with Energy Works. Thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about Energy Works and how it's involved in the utility industry. Okay, so Energy Works started about five years ago, and we saw a huge need in data processing capabilities and also data intelligence capabilities that they were missing or lacking in existing tools. Uh, not being integrated with, uh, with each other, a lot of different data sources and increasing frequencies uh, of data that uh, utility customers are struggling with. Uh, so they need to find those new business models and concepts that uh, force them to, um, to create those new uh, use cases and business cases for their customers. Excellent, excellent. So you mentioned data. Um, data is obviously a huge piece as we look to what's next for energy. Um, and I mean, there are really definitely some challenges, things around you know, data quality, um, you know, the quantity of data, all of these things. I mean, what are you seeing really with regards to data quality in terms of what utilities are, are working on? Uh, it's all about the facts. So if you ask uh, regular utilities, so how about your data quality? They say, well, I think it's fairly good. Yeah. And then they say, I think, and then I ask them, okay, how do you know? Well, the people tell me that. They say, oh, well, is it measured? Uh, do you have metrics? And I think it's all about adding those metrics and making sure that you understand the data quality uh, throughout the entire process from ingestion all the way up until maybe a load forecast or a report that you're generating for your management. So where do you see the difference? I mean, are there, are there differences in terms of the type of data that you have and the, the, the data quality that you need to be focused on? How, how does that vary between you know, customer and, and, and grid data? Yeah, so data bec is becoming more diverse. Uh, with diver diverse, I mean it's not only about the time series data of the meter, for the meter to cash cycle, for example, to produce a, a monthly bill or yearly statement, stuff like that, but um, so they need to add more context. They need to understand more what's happening with that data to, to enable predictions or to spot anomalies and to understand what's happening in and around the grid or that the consumer can understand why his bill is increasing, for example. Uh, so this, this uh, uh, requires them to have multiple systems interconnected with different data sources um, and it makes that very complex because each data source has their own capabilities or characteristics, like for example, shape, size, formats. Mm -hmm. and it's very hard for them to integrate that in the existing landscape. And Anyverse provides, provides a service that does that for them and makes it universally available so it can actually find information in it, in the data and get value out of it. And, and in the end, finally make that viable business case monetizable. Excellent. Yeah. And I mean, how do you see it with, um Utilities, I mean, with all the data, all these different data sources, I mean, it's a lot of different groups within utility companies that are often having to work together. I mean, where are you seeing utilities find success in terms of, you know, really working through some of these challenges and getting good information out of their data? So that varies, of course, on the type of uh, customer. So the first successes mostly are, are found on the consumer engagement side, mm -hmm. especially in deregulated markets where there's more competition going on, not only in the residential side, but also on the CNI, uh, commercial industrial kind of customers. And um, so uh, up till now, for example, they had like many different systems, tons of different tools, very manual, tedious processes to handle the data and uh, not, not to mention the risks involved because they couldn't get good insights in the data and they had to make decisions on based on that. So what we provide is like a tool that, that enables them to get rid of all the other different tools and they can access a single centralized platform and using the single centralized view of data, getting uh, a, a better view on the quality itself of the data, but also um, putting trust in the data itself because we use like benchmarking and scoring figures using machine, li machine, machine learning kind of libraries where we um, learn and train data using machine learning models to uh, find those, those differences and those gaps and then try to understand data better in the end. So what's the first step that a, that a company could take really to you know, start to build this data quality? Uh, um, so the first thing that, uh, that comes to mind at least is that uh, you need to understand what kind of KPIs you want to use, okay, like the key performance indicators in the data itself. And um, based on that list that could exist of like maybe only five or 10 or 20 or 100 maybe, KPIs and the different weighting factors for each KPI. So how, how important is a single individual KPI? And based on those KPIs, you can gen generate then a um, scoring figure uh, that allows them to see instantly on one single figure um, what, what the uh, deal is with the data quality itself or can they trust the data? Can they work with the data? Is the data a good fit for their, for their purpose? Excellent. Well, those are some great recommendations. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate okay. it. Thank you. You're welcome.